Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the fuzzy select tool in GIMP to create transparent backgrounds. So let's open up GIMP software. The images that I'll use in this tutorial, I'll add the links in the YouTube description. So you can also download these four images and we'll drag and drop this, this astronaut into GIMP. And the tool we're going to use is called the fuzzy select tool. So the first thing you need to do is really tell GIMP software that if we select something and delete it, we want to use a transparency, transparent background. And the way that we do that is to right click on the image inside the layers. So we right click on it inside layers and we'll add an alpha channel here. So that allows transparency. Now the tool itself, you can do something called feather edges. And if we to select like feather edge, then it would select the background but leave some of the background around the edge of this astronaut so we'll look at that maybe afterwards but for now let's let's just turn off feather edging yeah anti-aliasing we should leave on because that will help with uh, smoothing out the edges of our selection and the threshold this really depends on the background color and the objects that you're trying to select around so if you hover over threshold it says maximum color difference uh, we can set this to quite a low value because the background is black and then the object that we're selecting is, is almost like a white color. You can almost say it's like black and white, although there are some reds and blues and other gray sort of colors in here. So once we select the fuzzy select tool and set up our settings here, we can click on the black section, the background, and you can see it's going to draw this white dotted border around the image. Then all we need to do is go to edit and cut. And then you'll see all of that background will get removed. Now with this astronaut you can see here we need to remove this part here as well Let's zoom in a little bit. So we're going to select this so we use the magic wand tool to select it So rather than using a paintbrush or an eraser and go around all of these edges and try and clean it all up We can just use the fuzzy select tool because it's it's quite a, a Strong color right that black in there and we can just go edit cut and then maybe we'll use it here as well So we select it here and we'll go edit cut so now the image is actually transparent. It's uh, the background is transparent, you could say. So you can still see after you use the fuzzy select tool, this part is still selected. It's still got this little dotted line. So you need to go to select and then none. Now nothing will be selected. And you could save this as a PNG file now and it will have a transparent background. So let's go to file. First of all, we'll go to file, save as, and we'll call this project one. So this is like the main project file. So let's just call it project zero one. And we'll save it and if we want to save it as a png file we need to go to file export and in export we need to select file type here and the file type will be png png image that we call project one dot png then we click export and in here we need to make sure uh, what have we got here save background color we should uh, untick this I believe and everything else uh, save color values from transparent pixels so I think everything else should be fine here but I don't think we save the background color so let's export and see what happens so on our computer here we've got this file and this should really be a transparent image so the way to test that is um, we can close down GIMP for the moment. So we, or we close down this image. So we click on this image here, close it down. And then we can drag this background into GIMP, this universe background, right? And then we can drag our new file, the PNG project file that we made. We can drag that into GIMP. And then we will drag the background below. And now you can see that the astronaut is there. We can resize it a bit as well. Let's resize it. So we'll click on the uh, resize tool here. Where's the resize tool? This, uh, the scale tool. And we'll click on, um, make sure this space guy is selected. We'll click on him. We can zoom out a little bit. Hold down the shift key and then we can scale him down. It's a bit too big, scale it. And uh, we can then use the move tool and move him into position, right? So we've drag and dropped the PNG file that we created when we cut out the image 
we saved it as a project 01 PNG file and now you can see it's got a transparent background it's no longer got the black background because it's this guy's see-through and now you can do whatever you want with this image you can add other effects to it or do whatever you want so that was just a good example of um, creating the PNG file with a transparent background you can also use this on web projects as well so if you've got a website and you're doing some web projects and you want to have a transparent image and you want to put some overlay some background in the, behind it and you'll use maybe javascript and this background is zooming in or out and the space guy is staying still then you can use some javascript um, on a website to do something like this so that's how we create a transparent image using the fuzzy select tool let's try one more example so i'll close this shall we save this um let's cancel let's go file save as and we'll save this as project dash zero one dash completed you can say that's our first project completed let's close this let's try it with a different image because we had another image in here so let's try it with um this hot air balloon so we click we drag the hot air balloon and you can see there's this we've got all of these colors so maybe this is where the the color threshold will make more sense so let's set that to a really high value and then click here or let's set it to a really low value and click inside <clears throat> and let's see how good the selection is can you see like it's selecting around these edges here quite clean it's doing quite a clean job right and depending on the threshold it's going to really affect this selection so if we increase the threshold a little bit you can see now the problem is it's actually selecting inside the balloon so let's go to select none for the moment and what we'll do is right click here and add an alpha channel and if we were to set the threshold to something like 70 and click in here then press ctrl x or edit cut you'll see that it's actually removed some of the hot air balloon as well so this is where you need to be a bit more careful with the threshold so we can go to edit undo undo that and then we'll reduce the threshold and we'll click again and we want to get to a position where it's selecting just around the edges so even in here look it's selecting inside the hot air balloon still so we reduce it some more it's a bit of a trial and everything i think this is pretty good you see it's not selecting inside of the hot air balloon anywhere around here looks pretty good that looks good and let's just show you this um this uh feathering tool so if we set the feathering to something like 38 then click then it's going to add a bit of feathering around the edge when we cut so let's do edit cut and you can see there's like almost like this glow edge around it it's a bit hard to see so let's maybe let's um let's undo that so we go edit undo cut let's leave it as it is we'll create a new layer uh, just as an example so let's create a new layer and that layer will make it the background color which will be black the black here that will be the background color so this but this new layer will be black we'll click ok and then we'll drag that background layer down one so it sits below then we'll click on the hot hot air balloon um, image and we'll click back in the canvas again with the fuzzy select tool and we'll go to edit cut now you can see that feathering edge much clearer right and if we were to increase that do edit undo click it one more time then do edit cut you can see that feathering is much more now it's because it's got a bigger edge around it the feathering so most times you want to turn feathering off if we do edit undo undo one more time turn the feathering off we we'll leave the threshold at 24 we'll click inside again we we'll do edit cut now it's now it's just really the hot air balloon that's been cut out so let's delete this background layer delete this one uh, we'll click on this black layer the only reason i put black there was to show you the feathering right so we'll click on this bottom layer delete it uh, we'll go to select none we'll go to file save as and let's save it as project 02 and then we'll go to file export as and it's already png file because you selected it before as a png so it'll be called project 02 png and we'll export it 
and we'll leave the same settings and turn off save background color and click export and then we can close this image now if we go back to our folder we'll see that we've got this uh, project 02 png so we can go ahead and drag this picture it's like all of these images I'm going to put in the YouTube description so you'll have links to all of these images so you can do the same we'll drag this picture into GIMP this this background and then we can drag the project 02 onto the canvas as well now we've got the hot air balloon there and we'll click on that top layer and let's uh, go to the scale tool we'll click on the hot air balloon we'll hold down the shift key and we can reduce it in size a bit that will do okay click scale click the move tool and then we can move the hot air balloon over here somewhere and then we can do we can just click on the background to see that clearly right so that's how we use transparent backgrounds using the fuzzy select tool or how you can create a transparent background using this fuzzy select tool but it only really works with images it works well with images that have uh, where's our folder gone that have simple colored backgrounds like this flat blue sort of color right or this black color so the, the object that you're cutting around can have many colors in it but if the background is nice and flat and clean like this then it's a, a really quick tool to cut around an image it's, it's way quicker than using any of the other tools if you've got a more complex image like a person's face with loads of hair and there's a quite um you know there's like a, a background with a lot of color going on and a lot of differences then this tool won't work so well so if you look in the youtube description as well i'll put some links to some other example tutorials i've created where the object that you're trying to cut around is um more complex and i've shown you a couple of other techniques that you can use for more complicated uh, cut out images so that's probably about it for this tutorial i just wanted to explain how that fuzzy select tool works i hope you find this useful it can help you to create transparent images very very quickly you can see but it really depends on the type of image so let's close this uh, in fact let's go to file save as and we'll save it as uh, project completed 02 we might as well save that one as well let's close this and we'll close this okay i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.